nutritious rice is the need to overcome malnutrition. And uh, uh, we know that um, the important component of nutrition is iron and zinc. So the objective of my study is to develop high yielding varieties with high iron and high zinc. So for this, uh, for to achieve the, this objective, we develop breeding materials in IR and micronutrient rich japonica lines. And uh, we used the test tube approach uh, to produce the plants from uh, male organ or anthraculture uh, from these crosses. So what you see is the result of dihaploid lines, uh, which is commonly known as DH lines also. So, so these uh, DH lines, these are the progenies from the test tube plants. Uh, and uh, uh, as you can see, there is a broad spectrum of variation as we are able to fix the recombinants, different kinds of recombinants. Uh, so these uh, DH lines is a very novel material uh, because uh, uh, th this is important to produce the indica rices with uh, high iron and uh, zinc from japonica donors. And as well, these material can be used to locate the regions on the chromosomes which govern high iron and high zinc. And uh, once these QTLs or genes are available that would accelerate the breeding uh, uh, breeding programs to transfer high iron and high zinc in the background of high yielding mega varieties. It will help uh, the uh, especially for the developing countries, the rice consuming countries, because malnutrition is a major problem in those countries. And if we are able to uh, bring some high yielding lines with high iron and zinc, so even a small change can affect, uh, can go a long way, and it would be very useful for human health.